Hello from Nairobi, Kenya. I am Caroline Mungera, a climate action and policy scientist at the Alliance of Biodiversity International, NCIT. In this video, I will explain the Climate Smart Agriculture Rapid Appraisal, or CSA Array, that we did in collaboration with Guyana University in 2019. So the Rapid Appraisal is a mixed methods approach that draws on participatory, bottom-up, qualitative and quantitative tools to assess local contexts and to prioritize context-specific climate smart agriculture options. So in Guyana, the CSA array comprised of five uh, participatory tools and these were one, uh, expert interviews with key actors in the agriculture sector, second, farmer workshops, third, we had transect works of farms, and then fourth, we had farmer interviews, and fifth were gender disaggregated methods. So the CSA array is carried out in four, four zones in regions three and nine. And these four zones were West Demirara, Anai, Napi, and Sand Creek. So the selection of these four locations allowed us to represent the variability in climate change and topography, uh, land, agroecologies, uh, culture, and socioeconomic status within these two regions. Among people that we consulted included farmers, farmer representatives and extension agents and local administrative uh, leaders. 113 stakeholders, 48% of whom were women, were interviewed as part of the data collection. What this study confirmed is the important role of agriculture as the primary source of livelihood in the regions three and nine. Subsistence, small-scale mixed-crop livestock systems uh, dominate these farming systems. In these two regions, flooding, drought, pests and diseases are the main hazards that negatively affect agriculture. We also found that youth and women engagement in agriculture was low. This is mainly because of the undeveloped potential along the entire value chain. Youth in particular are choosing to migrate to urban centers for employment. And among the women, time and labor are key factors that are deciding how they engage in agriculture. And women tend to choose horticulture due to the ease of management, which allows them to also manage household chores. Among the communities in regions three and nine, food security, nutrition, income, knowledge, and capital required as well as yield are important factors affecting the choice of agriculture value chains. Farmers in regions three and nine employ several approaches to adapt to climate change, such as crop rotation, the use of farmyard manure, uh, farm drainage, shading, uh, seed selection, and the use of certified seed and organic fertilizers. However, the adoption of climate smart agriculture practices still remains low. And this is primarily due to the lack of financial and insurance services, limited knowledge about climate smart agriculture, poor access to climate information services, the lack of market, and the lack of proper agricultural equipment. We recommend the provision of timely, accurate climate information in combination with proper drainage, early maturing high yield and, and toreland crop varieties, uh, extension services, value addition and irrigation to enhance resilience to climate change among farmers. The availability of uh, agricultural extension services and irrigations are limited, especially in isolated indigenous communities. The lack of resources and infrastructure, especially drainage, uh, road network, markets, mechanization, and post-harvest processing is also limiting agricultural production, expansion, and intensification. Addressing these constraints will provide an opportunity for developing agriculture away from the coastal plains and thereby contributing to Guyana's climate resilience. 